Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am Cheryl, also known as Fig Cruiser, and today is Vlogtober Day. I always have to look down to remember. Today is Vlogtober Day 19. Getting close guys. Well, so today I start a new category and this category is overcoming the fear of going solo. And today I have five tips to consider for getting over the fear of going solo. I'm gonna get through these quickly. So one thing to consider is that you probably already do some solo activities today in your life, whether it's going to the grocery store, whether it's shopping. Do you have a fear of shopping alone? But think of the activities that you already do in your life by yourself already. There are a few activities you already do by yourself. So expand on those. So what are some additional things you can do at home in your own city? So consider doing a few more things in your own town by yourself. Perhaps go out to breakfast or lunch by yourself. Those tend to be easier than dining alone for dinner. But if you can work yourself up to it, yes, dinner alone would be great. Dining alone at a table would be great, but try to move it to the bar area where they have the bar tabletops or even sitting right at the bar and eating dinner by yourself. And then maybe think of things that would mimic things that you would do on the ship, like maybe see a movie. Sometimes there are movies played on the ship. Again, sitting at the bar at a restaurant might be something that you would do on the ship as well. Tip number two, follow other solo cruisers on YouTube if you aren't already. Now I've interviewed three solo cruisers on my channel so far. The Jim Danielle, Mr. Bucket List, and Cooper's Conquest. But there are so many more. Just do a YouTube search and there are others who are solo cruising for the first time and others who have been solo cruising for a while. Other solo cruisers I follow are the solo cruiser, Julia Frazier in the UK, and also the Weekend Cruiser. Look them up and immerse yourself in the content of other solo cruisers. Now, number three, if you are cruising with others, consider getting a room by yourself and then take it a step further. Maybe consider doing an activity by yourself or doing one meal by yourself. Just take small baby steps in pretending to be solo. Do your own thing for, let's say, two, four, six, 10 hours, 12 hours. Just try it out, see if you can do it. Tip number four, again, if you haven't already, research and join other solo cruiser groups on Facebook. Now, this is not the Facebook group for your sailing. There's a good handful of Facebook groups that are about solo cruising. So just do a search on Facebook, join a few groups and check them out. And my last tip, you can do something similar on Instagram. Again, if you haven't already, search hashtag solo cruiser and add that to your feed so you can get inspiration from other solo cruisers. That's the, if I haven't given you any inspiration already. I mean, don't worry, I will not be offended. No, I will not be offended. <laughs> But you can get inspiration from others who solo cruise, even others who have been where you are and who looked to take that first step and they actually did it. So that's all I got today. So those are my five tips for overcoming the fear of solo cruising. Hey, I hope you found this helpful and useful. If you did, please like, comment, and share it out. <laughs> hey, and if you like my content and you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you'll know when I upload a fresh new video. All right, that's it for me today. All right, bye y'all.